What's up, YouTube? You already tell. I don't do a let's talk story. Yeah, it's another video. We got a cop realizes they arrested an FBI agent. Like, comment, subscribe for the links in the description. And let's get into it, man. This video is sponsored by Surfshark. FBI agents are some of the most powerful authorities, even more powerful than cops. But what happens when FBI agents mess up and cops try to arrest them? This guy was approached on the street by a team of cops who claimed he looked like a criminal they'd been searching for. But little did police know, he was actually an undercover FBI agent about to do the unthinkable. Get out of my face, man. You guys are harassing me. Yes, you guys are. Hey, you're not, fucking harassing me. Harassing yes, you are. No, no, no. He's harassing me. Why are you harassing me? You're assuming I'm someone I'm not. Okay, if you're not, then... No, 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 no. You're not free to go, okay? You know, it's Benton. It ain't me, nigga. The cops confirmed that they've pulled over this man because he looks like a man that they have a warrant out for. Remember that the law requires cops to have reasonable suspicion that somebody has committed a crime reasonable. before making an arrest, meaning they were way beyond their rights. I'm not... Yes. For what? I don't have a warrant. Oh, you're the wrong guy. You're very wrong. Okay, wrong, no, you are wrong. What do you mean if you're wrong? You're wrong. You're wrong. We're not gonna play this game. The cops continue to give an incredibly loose reason for detaining him and also state that if they're wrong, they're wrong. A terrifying statement that's both unprofessional and dangerous. If an officer Dang. feels comfortable using that logic here, it's likely they'd also feel comfortable using it in a higher stakes Breaking situation, possibly endangering the public. Hey, yo. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Hey, hey, officer, hey, no, 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 yeah, wait, 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 matter of fact, matter of fact, look at my ID, 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 look all of a sudden, this man procures an official FBI ID card, proving both that he's not the man they're looking for and that these cops are now in big trouble. Check out how this cop goes from consistently making direct eye contact with the suspect to refusing to meet his eyes at any point after seeing the ID. Oh! Damn. Wrong guy! Oh. Wrong guy! Wrong guy. Oh my god! Damn. No, get the fuck off Damn. me, dude. Get off me, dude. Damn. I need our cards. I need your supervisor over here. Call your supervisor. Call your supervisor. What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Look at him. Get him. Police is outside. And then this guy here. Yo, what do you mean? I look like a bitch. The entire event no, was incredibly no, unprofessional that. and poorly handled by the fault of the officers. But at least the cops Yo. were respectful of this agent place. after finding out his true identity. Things ended differently for ATF agent Burke, who was treated so badly by police that he had to file a lawsuit against them. But first, let's Damn. take a moment to thank our sponsor, Surfshark, for helping us make these Shout videos. Millions Shout of crimes are committed Shark. every week, allowing you to opt in. However, with oh, thanks to get access to the home, the door was instead shut in his face and the residents called the police. The cops were given Agent Burke's badge number, but still treated the incident as a break in and Burke as a criminal. Hey, turn around, let me see your hands. Turn around, let me see your hands. Okay, let me see your hands. I need to see some ID. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. I'm a federal agent. He don't like how I feel. He don't like how I feel when the shoe on the other foot. Agent Burke refuses immediate orders to get on the ground, likely so police can check if he's armed or not, and continues the investigation safely. Burke Tell believes you. that because he's a federal agent, he's not subject to the orders of you municipal get on the ground. Get your ass but on if the that ground, the case, boy. any criminal could falsely claim they were a federal agent to bypass police orders. While he may not think he looks like a threat okay. himself, it remains that he should have politely followed the orders so the cops could figure out the situation easily. But instead, things continue to escalate. What the heck's the matter with you? Who do you think you are? Chopper, get on the ground! I'm not getting out of here. Chopper, ground. thanks. I'm not getting out of here. 7 I'm pulling up. I got my ID. Do not I'm reach for your up. waist! Keep your hands up! Once get a on second officer ground. arrives, Burke finally follows the orders and lays down on the ground. Do not resist. I'm not resisting. You're acting like a no, moron. Wait a second. Stop. 
Wait a second. Wait a second. No, don't do this. Wait a second. I got a medical condition. Get my license out of my pocket. Please. We're getting you secured first. Please, please, wait. No, whoa. Hold on. Bro, Hold on. I'm this, wait, wait, wait. They, don't, they don't understand please. orders when it's wait, on the other, please, other end. I'm, I'm, you feel I'm, me? I'm not. Stop resisting. Would you now. please get my ID out of my left pocket? He actually I'm resisted. begging you. My my wife's pray. Please. It's Stop right here. Resisting. Please get it. Wait, sir, on. help me up. Just hold me up. Sir, I can't do it. Wait, sir. Stop resisting now. Please, please help me. Sir, please Stop get resisting. my, my oh, federal damn. press. Hard head. No, don't do that, please. Sir. Don't make me tase you. You're going to get taped. Put your right no. arm behind your back. Okay. Put your right arm behind help your back up. now. No. Help me up. No, you're going to stay on the ground and put your right arm behind your back. Let me breathe. Let me breathe. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm going to. You Ow, don't don't do, do not that. listen. He hard head as shit. My God. He deserves that. It is cuffed. Please stop. Get him cuffed. Please stop, sir. Wait a second. Sir, please help me up. In the distressing footage, Burt continues to tell the officers that he's an ATF agent out on a call and to simply take his ID from his back pocket. After finally looking at his ID, officers keep him under arrest and take him to their patrol vehicle. Why would you make you don't know how to do fucking this? listen. You if, you'd, if, you'd, if you would have got on your knees, listen, in the beginning, and they say, then let them say what they got to say to you. Then say, I'm an ATF agent on the call. No, he want to fucking, I'm not getting on the ground like a fucking He's crazy motherfucker. Hold, 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 hold him. Hey, guys, please, just talk to me for one second. Please get in the car. No, we'll talk later. Sir. The cops then force Burke into the vehicle, talking over his pleas and explanations regarding his medical condition. Please, sir. If you are a real police officer, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I was trying to give you my creds. We got him in the car. No, he, he might even be a real uh, cop, but he wouldn't yeah, tell us, wouldn't, wouldn't do anything, uh, wouldn't get on the ground. I mean, what the heck? We had to tase room, so we got a medic coming. If he is an actual police officer, he ought to be ashamed of himself. Sir, I'm not ashamed. To... You're not. You're right. You're not. Yeah. No, you screwed up. You bet. Police continued to detain Burke in their patrol vehicle for over an hour longer before eventually releasing him without charges. Despite not necessarily showing perfect conduct himself, no, Burke should, decided to sue the Columbus Police Department, he should, he should citing excessive force and unlawful arrest. The original complaint says that after the incident, which caused him both physical and mental harm, he was taken from active duty and confined solely to administrative and support roles, with adjustments having to be made to the department to accommodate him. As of this video's upload, the case is still ongoing. Realistically, both parties involved in this case were in the wrong to some extent. But in the case of no, Mac Proctor, no. things are totally different. No, Mac he, he is supposedly an undercover agent with a very strong knowledge of the law, and he's about to show exactly how corrupt police officers can be completely unprovoked. Mac was parked in a private parking lot waiting for a takeout order while on his shift as a delivery driver. While his vehicle wasn't in a designated parking spot, it wasn't blocking the flow of traffic, and he'd only left it there unattended while picking up his food. Upon returning to his vehicle, Mac was approached by a police officer stating he was violating parking rules. Alright, Mr. Proctor. Uh, that is your last name. Uh, everything okay? Do I need to answer any of your questions? You don't have to answer anything, dude. Okay. You don't um, have to. Luckily, you stand here all day. I get paid either way. Can you go ahead and finish your job so I can carry on? What's it with the anger, dude? I'm not angry. You're not angry? You always talk to everybody like that? I'm I'm not angry. Oh, okay. okay. I just want you to go ahead and wrap things up, please. Oh, okay. Of course, Mac has every right to stay silent in the face of the officer's questions, okay. especially ones that don't at all pertain to criminal proceedings. At no point did he raise his tone or say anything out of line, yet the officer asks why he's being so angry. Many people think that some police officers are used to consistently being in command and control on these interactions, and it's possible the same is true with this officer. When Mac exercised his rights and just asked for things to be moved along, this cop was surprised and took it as a combat statement all right well you know I'm gonna give you a, a break on it but you know what I'm saying this isn't a parking spot okay dude you're not giving me a break you're harassing me at I'm this point I, I'd like to here. leave may I leave now please uh -huh. well do you understand am I being detained you? yes you are okay all right so do you understand why I stopped you do I need to answer any no, more you of your questions I'm, you don't have to okay the officer informs Mac that he is being detained for parking here. To issue a citation for parking yeah, violation, like you that, must like. be breaking either local, state, or federal law. Something like parking in a handicapped spot without proper documentation. 
Mr. Proctor, can I give you your stuff so you can leave? Can you? I can, but you're the one. I would have let you go a long time ago. Uh, yes, what do is. I need to do for you to hand me my documents so I'll I can leave? I'll give it to you right now. I just want to know that you know, so you're okay because usually I don't get people all this stuff. What do I need to do for you to hand me my documents so you I can be on my way? You're okay. I don't need to answer any of your questions. Okay, there we go again. Jesus Christ. I give him the now. You give him the now. You're trying to display your power to me no, right now. I'm concerned about it. Is there a problem to be concerned about another human being? You okay. have no reason to be concerned about me. So it's okay then. You're okay then. You can hand me my documents and I can but be on my way. As an officer, he he probably he probably don't want him to leave mad because you can go out and murder somebody with that type of like that combativeness. I don't know. Or we can. Fine. Okay, you're not gonna. Okay, here I tell you what, I'm gonna take a chance on you. All right, here, Mr. Proctor, um, you're right. Everything's cool. All right, we're blocking traffic here to your stuff. Mac was allowed to leave without further incident, but this interaction raises questions about why he was met with further difficulties after doing nothing other than exercising his Fifth Amendment right. In fact, it's strange that the entire interaction even happened in the first place. If the officer had observed Mac's vehicle obstructing traffic, the incident could have been avoided by simply asking him to move his vehicle out of the way and let him go about his day from there. Instead, the officer detained Mac, preventing him from moving his vehicle and keeping it in the very place that's allegedly impeding traffic flow. The cop later found out that Mac wasn't even a federal agent or officer himself, and simply managed to prove just how valuable it is to know the law. And once again, thank you to Surfshark. Click the link in the description and use the code INSANITY. And that's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. I'm Yardy Tail, and I'm out.